Well, <clears throat> it's uh, Saturday, January 23rd, and we finally closed on our new Illinois property. This is where we plan to settle down at. So we got some snow from a couple days ago, so I'm setting some cameras up. Um, the previous owner was supposed to have 25% of the 40 acres still in standing corn, which didn't happen. This place has ginormous potential, and believe me, when I get at it with the tractor, it's going to be at least 10 times better than now, and supposedly there's, he passes 140, 150 class deer every year here, so looking for the sign, and uh, set up some cameras and we'll see what we find out. Here I am, stuck on my uh, Hunt V. And this is really not that big of a ditch to go over. However, it's only two wheel drive because it's four wheel drive and when you have a limited slip on the front, limited slip on the back, it is two wheel drive. So if I had my Intimidator here, with true four-wheel drive, it would just crawl right out of this little bitty ditch. Thank goodness I paid extra for the winch though, to winch myself out. For those of you that watch my review of the Hunt V compared to the Intimidator, yet another reason I picked the Intimidator. The second deer I came across, this is a good size one. This is a buck, um, but he lost his sheds already. I was cruising through here and I saw a vulture down in here, so that's too bad. I'm hoping to find some sheds this, uh, this spring here on this piece of property. It might be my first property that I actually can find sheds on, but we'll see. Okay, this is a pretty mature buck. First thing is his head, the depth there compared to the length. The older they get, the longer this gets, and it turns into more of a triangle rather than like a long beak like the does have. And then I checked his teeth, and he ain't got no back teeth at all. So, I'd like to find his rack, though. Hopefully he's staying local. This is a prime example of how little has been done to this property, where it has so much potential. Got areas sure. like this that are little pocket fields. All right, there ain't nothing in here of value. They might bed in here a little bit, but you see it is surrounded on pretty much 360 by good timber, which I'll do some screening in here and really make it thick. And then right here is a giant pond. So I know they're watering in it. There's a little depression right there that could easily be a watering hole. But, you know, do some screening around here, some hinge cutting around all these sides and make it a little thicker. Got some big trees here on the edges to hang stands. And I'm gonna say this is at least a third of an acre, if not close to a half acre. And there's about uh, four of these that I know of around this property that are very easy to convert into a beautiful food plot with water right there already. You just thicken up the cover around it and all of a sudden you have phenomenal can't wait to get to work. Yeah, I'm following up my first trespasser set of tracks in the snow and up there we got a little flock of turkeys right in the cut corn. Very nice. Hanging in a bunch of trail cams. This is one of the few spots where I found them digging for corn even a little bit because all of the corn is gone. But I found some nice crossing trails. This is what I'm looking for. I am almost made the whole loop. Got some good uh, recent trackage here and it all piles right out of this super thick cedar thicket down here so i'm gonna hang a camera right in that skinny tree there and we'll we'll see what we get i'll report back in about a week this, this road is named fangorn road because it cuts through fangorn forest just saw three deer cross here this is super thick this is why I'm calling it Fangorn Forest. And there's the camera I just put up. Alright, we'll see what we get. 